Right, we're looking at how to configure DesignJet 750 or DesignJet 755 onto a network. That's uh, not the most intuitive menu options on this machine, I've got to say. But we'll run through it. Right, so to enter the menu, press enter. And use the arrow buttons, go in either direction. Can't remember which one's the quickest. Until you get to IO setup, and then press enter. Modular, which is the one we're looking at, it's an MIO card that's installed in the back of the machine. Uh, standard on most 750s. Show you what that looks like so you can check to make sure it is installed. It's this item here. And here's one that's been removed from the machine. Okay, so as long as you've got one of those installed in there, you should get that modular option up. So back to the front panel. So modular, we'll press enter. It's got CFG network equals no. So config, configure network equals no. So to make it active, press the enter button, then use the up arrow, change it to yes, press enter again. And so now we've got CFG network equals yes. So up arrow. It does matter if you go up down arrow you can end up back, backing out of this menu option so so it's really not not the most user friendly uh, menu system so we're going to set it up on a, a standard TCP IP network so I mean Novell is on we'll, we'll leave it alone and until we get up to TCP IP ensure that that is on that's fine e talk off fine CFG Novell equals no, that's fine. CFG TCP IP equals no. So we need to press the enter to make it active. Press the up arrow, change it to yes. Press the enter to accept it. And now we're going into the configure TCP IP settings. So press the up arrow. Right, so we're going to put it on a static IP address so we're not using boot B. So it just says IP byte 1. Now I want to set this machine to an IP address of 192.168.2.241 which I know is outside of our serve range here so IP byte 1 equals 192 that's fine so skip on to IP byte 2 168 that's fine so hour up again up to 3 2 that's fine so 3 is fine and 4 it's actually set to the 241 we've obviously uh, configured this to our network previously and that's what the IP address we tend to use for testing items uh, but I'll show you how to change it so to change it just press the enter button that makes it active so we've currently got 241 in there so we wanted to change it to 200 say now we can use either either arrow to count the quickest way to 200 appreciating that it goes up to 255 and then back to zero again so obviously the the quickest way to 200 is to count down so you can just hold that button down. You see that scrolling through until we hit 200, and then press enter. So we've now got that. The IP address is set to 192.168.2.200. Subnet mask we want as 255.255.255.0 which will undoubtedly it will be set to exactly the same process scroll through using the up arrow subnet mask byte 2, subnet mask byte 3 subnet mask byte 4 and if we did need to change it exactly the same enter up or down arrows to select where you want to go when you hit the number you're after just hit enter and then the LG byte as if we want to send a, a log of any errors to be honest, I've, I've never bothered setting it up. Uh, if the machine's got an error, it will tell you all about it soon enough. So I'll skip through the LG bytes. One, two, three, and four. So we get to the default gateway, which should be for us 192.168.2.1. So that's already set to 192 on gateway byte one. Two is 168. 3 is 2 and 4 is set to 1 but once again if we need to change it enter up and down arrows for the number that we want enter again 
time out set to 90 and set whatever time out you want on there 90 tends to be the default 90 or 120 so we'll, we'll happily leave it on that up our again and we're back to the CFG network equals yes so then all we need to do back out of that menu just by pressing the previous button the machine is now ready and it's now set up on the LAN.